Greetings everyone. So I'm in Iceland right now, and when you think of Iceland, you think of many things. The uh, the nature, the, the history, the Vikings, like, there's a lot of really, really amazing things uh, about Iceland. But today, I'm going to be talking about the junk food. Trying different junk food when you travel, I think, is so much fun. Every time I go anywhere, I mean, the fruit is, is fantastic. That's a whole, a whole thing, of course, but uh, trying just like snack food is, is really fun for me. So uh, today, I'm going to start things off with licorice. I'm not a big fan of licorice, but my frame of reference for licorice is the licorice you get in the United States, which means like black jelly beans, and I don't like those. Um, but if you go to Scandinavian countries, uh, you see licorice everywhere. People take their licorice very seriously, and it is good quality stuff a lot of the time. So when I went to Finland, uh, I tried a whole bunch of licorice, and some of it was really, really good. Some of it I really, really hated. Uh, there's one particular thing they put in licorice in Finland, some of it, that is salty and tastes like cough drops. Ah. What the hell? Ammonium chloride. I'm not sure if this is going to have that in it, but um, let's find out. So the licorice I picked up today, uh, I believe all of it is not just straight licorice. It has stuff in it. It's got like chocolate and uh, other types of candy mixed in. And I think that uh, that will help me ease into the licorice here in, in Iceland. So first I'm going to try this guy right here, uh, Rosa Dramur. And I apologize, I'm gonna be mispronouncing a lot of these these names here and uh, oh you know on the uh, packaging it looks like it's made out of uh, something white or like a gray kind of color there but uh, it actually is chocolate and inside there you see that that black there is the licorice Yeah, right on. I like that. That's all right. It's not like amazing chocolate, but it's better than chocolate you get in the United States. It's like above Hershey's chocolate, maybe getting close to Cadbury chocolate. It's um, pretty decent. And the, uh, the licorice, I'll try a little piece of the licorice just on its own. It's mild. It's a little bit salty too. It's got kind of like a salted caramel kind of vibe and the licorice is um of a decent quality it doesn't taste like artificial black jelly bean sort of licorice it's not just sugar it's got like a nice flavor to it um nice licorice flavor nice chocolate flavor it's not like overly sweet or anything yeah i like that that's all right here is uh what is that oh that's a thorn guys so when you see that it's got like more of like a TH kind of sound to it. I know that much. Uh, so it's like thrist, thrist, thrister, thrister, something, something like that. Yeah, the lang language in Iceland is uh, is very interesting. I feel like I don't, I'm not, not really great at it, but my what I've been doing is like when I see a letter that I don't understand, I just assume that it's a TH sound. Just hope that I'm right. Um, <laughs> so this one is uh, looks like a gigantic like Twix. Bar. Hmm. It's different. It's not just licorice. And there's chocolate on the outside. Inside, there's like a slab of caramel and a little slab of licorice on top of it. See, so a little bit of everything. And the, um, I think it's the licorice in here that has kind of like a raisiny kind of flavor. I don't think that this is raisin. I'm pretty sure that this is, yeah, licorice pieces. There's no raisins in here, but it tastes a little bit like a dried fruit. It's not like overly sweet also, which I, I like. It doesn't taste just like pure sugar with chocolate around it. It has like a little bit more of like a like an adult sort of flavor to it. There's a little bit more of a complex flavor to this. So let's mix things up with this guy. This appears to be a roll of licorice with some sort of pink goo in it. Can't get it open. Show's over. 
And it has like these little ridges for you to be able to rip it, but it won't rip. It's like really tough plastic. <laughs> right, there we go. And this, by the way, is, um, I don't know. There's a J in it, guys. I, I, I have no idea. Oh, it's pretty looking. This, although it looks like it should be tasting like strawberry or something, doesn't really. It tastes kind of like um, coconutty. But I don't think there's coconut in this. I don't think that there's like raisins in this one. I think it's just it's just tasting like that from this combination of flavors. The licorice taste is um, is mild. It's a very mild licorice taste. Um, Unless I'm just getting like a licorice burnout. Let me let me try just a piece on its own. Yeah, it's not like a strong licorice taste, but there's a little bit there. I'll try some of this pink stuff on its own. It doesn't really have a berry flavor. I mean, maybe a little bit like a strawberry, like a mild strawberry frosting taste. But it tastes more like coconut. Okay, it does have coconut in it. That makes more sense. I was like expecting this to taste like uh, strawberry and it, it doesn't. That's coconut that is dyed red and that's what it tastes like. So, um, coconut and licorice, they, they go well together. And finally, we have this one, it, it set, I guess. And I think the packaging on these, like the packaging on this stuff is great. Like a lot of yellows and black. It seems like packaging that people had in the U.S. like in old, older products, but now we're kind of like going all, I don't know, like cartoony with our packages. I like the, this kind of like more sophisticated looking. So this is literally a chocolate bar with a slab of licorice on top of it. You can peel it right off if you don't like licorice. <laughs> and some people might actually do that because it actually has a uh, some branding on the actual chocolate bar. Hmm. All right. I don't like the texture of this because it clashes. This is like really, really chewy licorice. It's very firm. And this is like soft chocolate. I would actually rather pull this apart and eat these separately. So let's try that, the licorice. The licorice flavor is milder, but the saltiness is more. Hmm, it's almost like a little bit more herbal. Yeah, it's all right, but probably my least favorite out of the other licorices here. And the chocolate. It's good chocolate. It's like Cadbury chocolate kind of level. I would put this in last place. It's not my favorite, but it's fine. It just, I would want to separate them eat them separately. It's my least favorite licorice out of all of them, but the chocolate in it is good. So it's kind of like getting two snacks in one. Then I would go with this one. The chocolate in here isn't quite as good as this one, but the licorice is better. So I, I like this one a little bit more, but they're close uh, and the texture is better. Then I would go with the little roll. I like that. Uh, I like coconut and I like that it's different. It's not the best coconut, it's not the best licorice, but together they do work pretty well, so I do like that. And then finally, I would go with uh, this guy. The licorice is subtle, but it is there and it adds to it. And the caramel and the chocolate go well together, so the packaging is also cool. So I do like this one. Uh, what's interesting to me though is this, the, the licorice, at least with the ones I have here, I'm, I'm not eating actual chunks of licorice but it is different than my experience in Finland. In Finland, it was like, their licorice is very strong, like very strong, powerful flavored licorice with a lot of salt and a lot of this uh, kind of like cough drop, almost kind of flavor to it. I feel like that sort of licorice is something that you learn to love, but it's gonna take a little time. It's, it's harsh, but when you like it, you really like it. This, I think anyone would like. This is uh, licorice, but it is like licorice that is very easy to take and it goes well, especially when you have it with chocolate and coconut and stuff like that. It makes it a little bit easier to take. So if you don't like licorice, um, 
I think you still might like these sorts of products. They are uh, they are pretty good. So I think that's about it. Um, yeah, Icelandic licorice is a very, very popular thing. If you come to Iceland, if you go to a supermarket, you will see huge amounts of licorice for sale. And um, it's like that for a reason. It's it's good stuff. So if you uh, even if you don't like licorice, I'd recommend giving it a try. All right, I'll see you next time. Hey, before you click away, I'd like to give a big shout out to my mega patrons that includes smarter every day sean m glynn and lofty rex they are big supporters over on patreon.com patreon is how i can continue to keep this series going so if you'd like to help support the channel uh, take a look at the link in the description below if you don't want to go on patreon another way to support the channel is to buy a t-shirt t-shirts are available also in the description below thanks so much guys Bye bye